In the early 1990s, aircraft operators started moving to satellite-based navigation GNSS, because of the availability of relatively inexpensive global positioning system receivers. Operators used GNSS receivers to fly visual flight rules and instrument flight rules navigation. But at the early stage of satellite navigation development, the core satellite constellations were not developed to satisfy the strict requirements of IFR navigation to fly more precise way. For this reason, GNSS avionics used in IFR operations should augment the GNSS signal to ensure its accuracy, integrity, continuity and availability. The aircraft-based augmentation was introduced to augment the received GNSS information based on the information available on board to enhance the performance of the core satellite constellations. Aircraft-based augmentation system avionics equipped in aircraft used different techniques to enhance the performance of unaugmented GNSS data and aircraft navigation system. RAIN The most common aircraft-based augmentation technique is called Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring. RAIN requires redundant satellite range measurements to detect faulty signals and alert the pilot. RAIN algorithms require a minimum of five visible satellites in order to perform fault detection and detect the presence of an unacceptably large position error for a given mode of flight. RAIN availability depends on the type of operation. It is lower for the non-precision approach than for the terminal, and lower for the terminal than for en route. It is for this reason that GPS RAIM approvals usually have operational restrictions. GPS RAIM provided greater benefits at the initial time of the GNSS transition because no additional cost was required to build any ground infrastructure for augmentation. Aircraft-based augmentation system techniques were continuously upgraded, even GPS RAIM allowed in oceanic areas, where ground-based navades are completely impossible to provide navigation guidance. Under such approval, aircraft carry dual systems and operators perform pre-flight RAIM predictions, to ensure that there will be enough satellites in view to support the planned flight. This provides operators with a cost-effective alternative to inertial navigation systems in oceanic and remote airspace. Another aircraft-based augmentation technique is Aircraft Autonomous Integrity Monitoring. This system involves the integration of GNSS with other airborne sensors, such as inertial navigation systems, Eloran receivers, automated celestial navigation systems, distance measurement equipment, simple dead reckoning. In general, aircraft position is calculated using separate avionics using aircraft equipped sensors. This calculated data used to identify the position errors from GNSS data. These aircraft-based augmentation concepts, especially RAIM algorithms are extensively used for additional integrity checks, during pre-flight planning and all phases of flight to ensure safety. Hope you like the video. Subscribe, and click the bell icon for more video notifications.